For many women, one of the first tests that is ordered during a fertility evaluation is called the AMH level. AMH stands for anti-mullerian hormone. That hormone is a protein that is produced by the cells that surround the egg. Those cells are called granulosa cells. High levels are associated with a lot of normal granulosa cells, which is also indicative of a lot of normal eggs. The AMH level, therefore, is better to be high than low. A higher level generally means good egg supply and good quality of eggs. However, the level does not tell the whole story. There are many cases in which the AMH level is high and women have ovulation dysfunction, polycystic ovary syndrome, and may have poor quality eggs. There are also cases, however, in which a woman's AMH level may be low, but she has a good chance to conceive. Sometimes her egg supply is low, but the quality of her eggs are good. So no hormone level by itself should be seen as the sole arbiter of whether a woman will get pregnant or not. But in general, AMH levels typically above two nanograms per milliliter are associated with a higher chance of pregnancy and successful pregnancy than much lower levels. Once the AMH level drops below 0.5 nanograms per milliliter, the chances of conception become significantly compromised.